also helping researchers expand our understanding to more than just human language. Just last month, we introduced Dolphin Gemma, the world's first large language model for dolphins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Working with the researchers at Georgia Tech and the Wild Dolphin Project, Dolphin Gemma was fine-tuned on data from decades of field research to help scientists better understand patterns in how dolphins communicate. Can you imagine going to vacation someday and being able to talk to a dolphin? <laughs> Let's check on the progress. When I was 12 years old, I would page through the encyclopedia. I would stop on the whale and dolphin page, and I would go, I wonder what is going on in the minds of these animals. Language, to me, is the ultimate question about intelligence. The thing that we haven't been able to nail without a great tool. You know, how do you decipher another species? The main use of Dolphin Gemma is to eventually look at their natural language patterns and match it with the underwater video. That's how we really figure out their language if they had it. All right, beautiful day. Woohoo! Imagine a world where you could talk to an animal. Dolphin Gemma is the first LLM for dolphins. We've leveraged over 40 years of Denise's vocalization research to create this large language model to generate new synthetic dolphin sounds. These sounds will help us to one day hopefully communicate with the dolphins. Bad shows up at my office one day and he's wearing one of his many wearable computers. And <laughs> like, ooh, this guy's like a techno man, right? I said, like, well, I do wearable computers. This sounds like a summer project. We'll get this done for you. Here it is 15 years later. <laughs> We've engineered this Chat Junior device to play our synthetic dolphin sounds underwater. Oh, let's see which one this one is. That is the signature whistle for Denise, so that whenever she's approaching the dolphin, she can introduce herself. So what they're doing is they're testing the distance at which the two chat boxes can efficiently recognize our synthetic sounds. Oh, there we go. All right. We want it to work close to 100% before we take it in with the dolphins. It's this dance between getting data and respecting their culture. You know, I'm not very seaworthy, so. Ah, you did great. The true breakthrough for me with Dolphin Gemma is that I can generate so many of these so quickly. I just scroll through here and do days worth of work in minutes. If we can use this open model, people would take advantage of Denise's 40 years worth of research and use it to model for their own purposes. Science is most exciting when you find something you're not expecting. You may discover something that you never even thought to look for. I mean, that's the beauty. You don't know what's coming. Isn't that amazing? The world's first large language model for dolphins. And it was made to run on this right here, a Pixel 9 powered rig, just like this. So, uh, all right, I can't help myself.